Yeah, the advice to parents who are raising teenagers in the 21st century uh, at the time, a period of time that we're in is different than what it would have been when I first started my practice. Uh, when I started my practice, uh, the world uh, did not have the internet. Uh, the world did not have access to many things that, uh, that young people, even children, have now. Uh, what that does is mean that parents have to pay even more attention to what they have control over and being able to be very, uh, very aware of that. So I find that when we help individuals, uh, you know, families who are dealing with, with uh, young people that are going down certain pathways, that we have to realistically uh, help them with what they may do to talk with their child, how they may connect with their child, how they start early in modeling behavior for their child, which means not doing things themselves. That would be that they would expect differently for their child, as well as techniques to recognize early problems that are serious versus those that simply have to do with teenage oppositional uh, behaviors and stances so that they can discriminate when they really do need to pay attention and bring somebody, a child to a professional, give us a call, give other professionals calls uh, for help versus knowing how to communicate with their, uh, with their child. This is critical uh, because you'll find that some parents really think that every small detail is important and they may ostracize their child, while, whereas others uh, really understand how to communicate in a way around the important issues.